Today, we're going to be bringing in a Genesis 8.1 model into Unity with textures and hair and everything. With that being said, let's just get started. All right, so if we head on over here to Blender, we can see our Genesis 8.1 model looking all clean, looking all fresh, got the clothes, got the beard and everything and the hair. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go to File, Exports. And we're gonna export it as an FBX, right? Cause I wanna use it as a game object in Unity. So we're gonna go here to our Unity project folder, assets. And I already created a file here called the weekend. So over here on path mode, we're gonna set it to copy, embed textures, and then we're gonna export FBX. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, I want to use him as a game object. So I want to add some code to him, um, add some animation. Okay, so I'm going to skip over here to Unity. Yeah, I kind of trimmed the video to, you know, skip the whole exporting part because it kind of crashed a few times. So as you can see over here, ooh, okay, he looks like Slenderman. He looks like a pale statue. But remember earlier on when I said, you know, when I went over to um, path and then I set it to copy and then embed textures, you're gonna see why I did that. But over here, we got the, got the model, the FBX, and I just noticed something. Shoe? Huh? What is this? Oh, it's the pants. It's the pants. Ooh, I need to change that in Blender. I'll do that later on. But for now, let's just focus on getting the textures I'm gonna click here to materials extract textures then i'm gonna create a folder here called texture just like that you can name it whatever you want then we're gonna select the folder and we're gonna wait for that i am gonna trim the video again skip ahead like I did when I was importing. Okay, so there you go. Got the textures all in from Blender. Hmm. Oh, the shoe texture is still bugging out though. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna change this. So I, like I don't get confused later on. I'm gonna change it to pants. There you go. Back to our Genesis 8 model. So I just want to check um, the textures here. Everything, everything got imported. Okay, sweet. Then I am going to go to rig, humanoid. Then I'm going to apply just to make sure that we don't get any errors with that. You know, I don't have to go back to Blender and change everything. But yeah, so far so good. Got an avatar. We can add a, a controller here for animations. So we're gonna head over to Blender. Okay. And the episodes of also I. And what I'm gonna do next is hold on. Just gonna check something real quick. Okay, I'm gonna select the beard and I'm going to remove the armature, the subdivision, and the shrink wrap. You, you, you're gonna see later on why I'm doing this. I know it seems weird, but bear with me. I'm gonna convert the particle into a mesh. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing for the hair. Delete the armature, shrink wrap, um, subdivision, surface, then convert it to a mesh. Okay, we're going to remove the original like object, the original hair and the original beard, right? So we've got these two meshes here. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to convert them, right? We're going to right click, convert to a curve. Uh, this, this is going to take quite a while depending on your computing power, but I'm going to skip ahead here. 
Okay, so I trimmed the video because that did take a while. Same thing for the beard. Right click, convert to curve, and as you can see here, what we're gonna do later on is we're gonna convert it into like a dense object that you can actually import into Unity, right? Okay, so we got both objects as a curve. We're gonna head over to data, go to geometry, and we're gonna extrude. Okay, I usually do 0 0.1 and click. There you go, same thing for the beard, extrude over here in geometry data. There you go. So now we've got both curves here that have like um, data here. I'm gonna come right click, convert to a mesh. We're gonna do that with both objects. Okay with the beard, convert to a mesh. So anyways, I was saying now I can import, I can import um, this object into Unity since now it has density. It has like data that Unity can read. It's a, it's a solid object. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to material. I'm already here at material and I'm gonna set it to black and increase the roughness. Sorry. Hold on. Okay, same thing for the hair. Go to material. Change it. You can change it to whatever you like, but obviously I'm gonna make it black. Set the roughness high. And there you go. Even though there are solid objects now that we can read into Unity, we can't yet import it because we want to connect both these objects back to the armature. So I'm going to select the beard, shift, shift select the beard. Then I'm going to shift select the armature, any bone, any bone as long as the part of the armature, then control P. Amateur, um, amateur, armature deform. Okay, with empty groups. There you go. Same thing here. Shift selects with the hair and the bone. Armature deform with empty groups. That way now it is a child of the armature. Right? I'm gonna rename beard. By the way, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and after this video, please go check out my Patreon and my socials. Back to the video. Rename again, hair. There you go. We're not done yet. We're gonna go over here to modifier, add a modifier data transfer. That way it sticks now. Source, Genesis 8.1. Okay, we're gonna transfer the vertex data. And we're gonna do that. So again, that way when the, you know, Genesis 8.1, 8.1 model moves, the hair moves along with it, right? We're gonna do the same thing for the beard. Add the modifier, data transfer. Okay, the source is gonna be the 8.1. Um, model okay transfer the vertex data okay and there you go we're gonna click that so now when we have an animation playing the beard and the hair is not gonna be like out of place so just floating it's actually gonna stick to the object okay so with that being said now we can actually like import it back into a unit Okay, we're gonna head over to File, Export FBX, 
By the way, um, you don't need to do anything with the path mode. Just leave it. Just just leave it as it is. Okay. Back to the Unity file. Assets. The weekend. Yes, we're gonna replace this model. You don't need to do anything there. It's already good. Export FBX. Okay. Now we're waiting for that. But we are gonna run into a problem though, as you know, with the hair. Um, so what I'm telling you in advance, you might want to get like a double, a standard double-sided shader. You can get this from this GitHub here from Neo G Tundry. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I, if I butchered your name here. Um, you can get a um double-sided shader even from the Unity Asset Store. So I'm gonna download the zip here from GitHub. You you can get this from anywhere. It's just like a standard double-sided shader. Okay, because you can see here with the hair uh, and the beard, it is looking rough. Looking like really, really rough. I don't know why it's like that, but it's, it's, it's just like that. Even with the shoe, like the, the, the object is like sort of odd here. Ooh, yeah, same thing. So this is where our double-sided shader is going to kick in. Okay, so I've already imported it. I trimmed, you know, the importing the weekend model back into Unity. I downloaded the, the standard double-sided shader. Um, okay, so we're gonna look for the material of the hair, material seven. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, and we're gonna control D to duplicate. Okay, and then we're gonna click here to do it. Um, shader type and we're gonna switch it to the standard double-sided shader and we're gonna apply that back into the hair and oh 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 no 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 to the hair to the hair to the hair to the hair there you go it's sort of like when you have like a plane and a one side it's just not not showing like I'm gonna do the same thing for the beard Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for the shoe because I don't know why do they like import as plain objects, but it's, it's whatever. You know, we, we got the materials here. Okay. Again, control D to duplicate. Okay, we're gonna change to standard to the double shader. And as I said, you can get a double shader literally like any way from the Unity Assets for free. And we're gonna do the same thing here. So as you can see that, well, that solves that. Okay, we got them both as double, as standard double-sided shaders. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I wanna animate, I wanna animate this object. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna set up a scene real quick with the cameras. Um, I already set it to humanoid, so when I imported it, I didn't need to like set it back into humanoid. It was like already all good. Okay, we're gonna set up the camera here real quick. Don't want it to be too close. Ooh, he, look, he, I mean, he looks scary there. I mean, if it, if you want, you know, you can always like add an, an like an HD shader or a universal render pipeline as some post-processing, it's really up to you. So I'm gonna right, um, right click, okay, onto the weekend model, add an empty game object, it's gonna be a camera holder. I wanna add some camera animations, not really some animation, but I wanna add like, you know, a camera that moves around the model showcasing it. Okay. The main camera. I created this quick little camera rotate script here. It's not, not really much. Just learned it from a YouTube tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna add this here. Set it to negative 10. Um, you can copy the script here if you want. Pause and copy it. So I've got this little folder here. It's just mix my animations. I created an animator controller. That I'm gonna use here. It's 
standing idle animation. Okay, I set it to humanoid earlier on. You can add any, any animation, any animator controller. Yeah, we're gonna add this animation controller. Simple idle animation. And let's see. Play mode. Gonna wait for it. Sorry, sorry. And there you go, guys. The hair is connected. Everything is connected. The beard is connected. And that is how you transfer a Genesis 8 or 8.1 model into Unity.